Welcome back to our everyday living everyone. Uh, got a little bit of a pick up here from good old Harvey Norman again. Yeah, they busted that one up. That one's going to have to be scrapped out. Won't know until I get it home. It's got a little few dents in it. I don't know what the hell we got in this. Jesus, I'm glad, glad I brought a trolley. Yeah, we got some fixing and dixing and whatever else to go. That's just grass clippings. We're going to chuck that in there. Oh dear. Someone's been dumping their rubbish here. Let's get around the back here. Around here. Do a bit of a general clean up too. Ooh, we got another big wash machine here. Glad I brought the trolley. Oh, they're happy every time I come here. So let's get to it and get with the program, eh? That's definitely a, she's a big dindy out there, so that's going to be scrapped out. Take what I have to. Let's get with it. We'll open up the trailer. What have we got in this one? A whole heap of rubbish. A whole heap of rubbish. Stuff I don't want. Alright. Uh, that can go in there. That can go in there. Ooh, that's got some weight in it. Supposing the concrete in these is behind the back. Never know, I might find a can or so in there too. Ah, I'm going to do the right thing. Put it in the bin. And it's so much easier having a trolley.
sold one of these, I think. Sure. Two items to go and we should be done. One more. Better go and ask about that bed. I'll have a look at it. Right, let's take it all home. Going through all the printers and all that sort of thing. I've been thinking about it. Now you do get a lot of copper in a printer, right? Because you got your wires and your little transformers and that sort of thing. I've been going down to getting those little transformers out because there's a fair bit of copper in those. So I'm going to approach them to see if they're going to allow me to take this stuff too. There's a monitor there that doesn't look like it's busted. So yeah. I've got one printer on, it's got ink all over it, but uh, yeah, I've got to try and salvage that middle of the washing machine there, so I'll get it all home, I'll come back later for this stuff, it's out in the open, because they closed their gates, these gates here, I did do a bit of a clean up in there, uh, the gates are open at the moment, just sort of show everyone, what I deal with. Right, it's time to unload this stuff. I haven't got back to uh, get all the printers and stuff yet, but I did grab out of there a bit of cord food. So that's what I call cord food. A bit of wire and whatnot. So I'll just put that aside for now. Probably a little transformer in that one. Just put it in the bucket over here. process that later this is what our main aim is 
Ah, uh, script there, script that out, script that one out. I want to test that washing machine there. So what I'm going to do, over here on my last load, I've actually processed all of this stuff. I'm trying to, well, I'm going to unload this, put it down here so I can load that. So it's not on the ground. So that way I can pack that right here. Whenever I'm finished with processing stuff, dismantling, no, you can see what I do with the wash machines. I really make a mess out of them. No, that's one wash machine. No plastic left. So I get better money for it that, that way too. So I've gathered. Um, only knew it doing all of this. I uh, couldn't take the stainless steel doors off because of the, the foam that's inside. So I thought, ah, oh, just leave it as it is. I took the handle off, off this one because they were aluminium. I just got two with a hammer. They were off. <coughs> that was the best way. Um, got every single bit of copper out of it. Uh, also got aluminium coils out of it. So that was a good one there. Uh, down here we've got some, I did do a um, dishwasher. So it's all stainless steel there and stainless steel there. So with the, the um, old wash machines, um, they don't, they do have a stainless steel drum, but they've got the plastic around the top, so I get to cut the plastic off, and I process the plastic, and yeah, that's, that's scrap steel all with that, same with that fridge, got a whole heap of copper out of that old one, but anyway, that's all to do, and uh, let's get this unloaded, I don't like this printer, it's still got a lot of ink on it, and it's still wet, makes you wonder how ink stays so goddamn wet, I'm just going to throw this on the ground. I'm going to scrap it out anyway. I just don't want ink on me. My shoes that I had on, they got ink all over. So did my trousers. So I'm just going to throw it off. <sighs> Leaking everywhere. Oh, it's got a couple of transformers in it. There's one there. Probably another one there. Whole heap of stainless steel in there. It's got some weight in it. I don't want ink on me. Don't ink me apart I better sort that one out right start a plastic pile I think that's an ink cartridge it is I can go straight into the room. start doing some of the stuff now oh dear right drag this this way So it's even got little motors in there, server motors. So yeah, all this ribbon, you know, you take that out. It's all money. It's a big stainless steel rod there. A couple of them. One there and one there. And the rest is probably steel, so we'll, we'll pro probably put it inside that fridge. That's what I've done with most of the, the screws and stuff. Instead of them being on this dirt. Because that's all we have. A dirt floor. Right, let's get this one off. It's a front loader. Oh, where's my trolley? Oh, that don't look too bad. Might see what I can do with that one. Trolley! They really made a mess of that, eh? Shocking mess. Anyway, get all this off. Away. Get it off and we'll start loading that. I'll bring this back shortly. Maybe. I'll just get it off first. Let's test this one out. See what's wrong with it. That's the washing machine that I was going to test out. So we'll see what's wrong. See it on the level pad there. And we'll see what's wrong with it. The rest is just going to be scrapped out. This is the important one. I did get a bit of ink all over the side and a bit up here. But uh, yeah, I've got one of these sitting in the fridge. In the shed, I should say, in the fridge. Jeez. Where am I going? Um, this down here. 
on the other side. On the bed. I had to buy one of these for the other one. I'm glad this one's got it. Right. I've connected all up. That power's up. I've closed the lid. Don't mind me, I'm squatting. Squatting the old mozzies. If you'd seen a mozzie I said, uh, that I had today, it was a big one. About the size of my thumb. In length. It was a big one. Posted it on Facebook. Ah, we will go. Quick 20. 20, low, cold, high spin, rinse. It won't go there. All right. We will just go start. Should be locked. Yeah, it's testing it. Should be locked. Yeah, she's locked. We'll see what happens. See whether it puts water in or what goes wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. We might as well just try and get all this ink off as much as we can. And, uh, yeah, put it to good use. No point it being it's putting water in. That's a bonus. I've got nothing in there at the moment, so that way I'm not having things wet. Yeah, it's still filling. Anyway, while that's doing that, how about we get all this other off? I've got all the ink stuff off. Um, I may be able to, I've got a washing machine over here. Maybe I'll be able to get the motor out of that and put into that. Had a problem with the motor on that one. You might be able to go back through some of the videos and uh, I haven't got around to trying to fix that one up on top of that stand there. Um, but yeah, I think it's to do with the motor. All the controls seem to work, but I may be able to get a motor out of that one or out of this one because they're both front loaders. So we'll see. And they're both belt driven. So that's a bonus. Parts. There's always parts. What brand is this one? The door's all buggered on this one. But the motor might be still okay. You might even find some money in the in the in the water, in the drain. But anyway, I want to get this unloaded so I can load that over there. So let's get to and do that while we're waiting on that washing machine. Get a fair bit of copper out of these. Like all the copper line, you go go along with the magnet, test it all out, cut it out. There's a great big copper piece from there all the way up. You can't get the inside stuff because it's just too hard to get out. As you can see, all this metal shelving I'll take out. There's copper all in there, all the way down. So it's a fair bit of copper. Um, but yeah, you just take it all out. That's the easiest way. Cord can stay on there for a bit. These back pieces are good for taking off. Um, if you've got a lot of burrs around your place, you unscrew them on th off the back, cut it all out. Just crimp off the end there so you don't get ants going up inside it. Uh, like little black ants, um, we get them a lot here. And you can put it down at the back of your doorstep, front of your doorstep, and they make a good foot scraper. So you're laying flat, of course. Oh dear, I'm tripping over me hose. Tripping over me hose. I better put it back in. I'll let it run on the ground, it'll stop the dust. I get a lot of dust here. Wish I could have the wireless on, it's a bit boring. We'll just put this stuff here, just to get it off. Because I may have to go back and get those printers yet. Yeah, 
getting a bit late in the day to be doing that, but anyway. I'll get it another day. They're out in the open, he said I could take them. It's a win for me. Down to the last autumn. Oh, it's going down to 15. We'll give it a bigger cycle. Probably tomorrow, it's getting a bit late now. Very late in the afternoon. You got some concrete in this one. Let me get a workout. It's best to test them before you scrap them. When they got no tops or anything like that, I know they're just scrap. I'll sit this one right there. Right. I even picked up the bed. How go figure? The bed was there, as every as you see. Picked up the bed, went up and asked him. He says, oh, I, I asked him, you don't mind if I take the bed too? He says, I didn't see it. I already had it loaded anyway, so <laughs> that was good. He said there was no mattress, but yeah, I don't, don't see anything wrong with the mattress or anything like that. That's why I loaded it. Single bed, might be able to put, put it back out in the world, repurpose it. Anyway, I'm going to back up to this other stuff and get it on the trailer. Got a bit of a dilemma. I can't lift that. So I'm going to have to work it out tomorrow. I may even have it on by then, but anyway. We'll see what happens. So I will uh, continue this tomorrow, this, this part, and uh, see if I can get that on off camera. It's bloody heavy. I got some stuff inside it. Washing machine's still going over there. Going good. Got it all loaded this morning. I did actually, well I actually got this one loaded this morning. I got this one on last night, but only on its back. And I thought, well, I'm gonna run out of room. So I thought I'd put it up on its side. And I'm just doing a test on a washing machine, see if the motor's any good. Sounds like it's done a bearing. In the drum it is. Just doing a little test on it. That's a bearing in the drum. I could have fixed that if the door wasn't buggered. And if I had the top. Anyway, I'm gonna scrap it out, take the motor out, hang on to the motor, not scrap the motor, because I might be able to put it in this one over here, into this one. Um, motor doesn't seem to go in that. I don't know whether that's, that sounds like it's rubber. That's rubbing on the rubber, so that's a bearing going, probably, or a seal. Uh, verdict on this one from last night, it's got a motor problem, come up with E50, motor don't go. Won't spin out, won't do nothing. Fill water, but that's about all. So that one's gonna be scrapped out. Um, I'll test this one over here, they're much the same because if that motor don't fit, hopefully this one will fit in that one. Even though that's a botched machine and that's a Samsung, the motors are pretty much the same. The same as this one, you know, don't know what brand it is. 
Okay, we'll have a look. Look on the back. None on the back. I'll find it. But that motor sounds to be okay. Nothing wrong with the motor. So I'll get the stainless steel drum and all the wire out of it and flat pack it like I've done with the rest of them. Put the stainless steel drum over with all the stainless steel and uh, I'll show you what I got around the side. That's the better way. See all my steels here. Chairs are alloy. Microwave will go on this load. All this stuff will go on this load or I'm just doing the steel this is a drum of aluminium drum of stainless another drum of stainless more stainless here aluminium more steel so that'll go as a load I like to get rid of the steel first I want to do a whole load of stainless and then a whole load of aluminium still haven't lying loaded in my bed done a bit of mowing this morning taking care of this beautiful wonderful place nice and green there's definitely nothing wrong with that motor wow that's spinning at a thousand rpms seven minutes to go we'll see if it goes bang <laughs> i don't think it will that sounds okay to me that motor anyway we're going to be scrapping out today do these two fridges as well Get all the copper out of them. Uh, these, these pieces here are only copper coated. They're actual steel. Oh yeah. Anyway. I just don't like it when you find that sort of shrapnel in the drain. Trying this one out, the motor seems to be okay in that. I'll see if it's going to be the right size for this one over here. Uh, motors all seem to be okay in these washing machines, so if I can repurpose them. Yeah, oh, I'm actually, I always check that part there for if there's any coins or anything in there. There's no coins in that one. This has got the same problem as that other front loader. It's a bit noisy. But that sounds like, I'll move this printer out of the road. Dirty old thing. They made a mess of that. I'd rather try and salvage them. But there, that's the seal in the front of that. I get out my stethoscope. Let's go. Piece of bloody hose. That way you can put it up to your ear. Pinpoint where the noise is coming from. Too. Made a noise. He's up the front here. This one's just about finishing off. That's the front noise, front rubber. She's rubbing against it. But it sounds like the motor's not working all right. The motor works all right in this one. That's got the same problem as this one. Other than that, the motor's okay. Take that O-ring out of there. Been hanging on to all the O-rings and God knows what for spare parts if I ever get more. Um, so there's nothing wrong with that motor. Nothing wrong with the three motors of those. So I'll try and make one washing machine there and another one out of that. 
try. I'm not going to probably won't succeed, but if I don't try, I'm not trying my best to try and get it back out there for someone else to use it. I've already got one of these for sale. It's up at the caravan. But uh, yeah, I'll get to and do these fridges first, and then I'll get to and do these washing machines because they take a little bit longer to actually pull apart. Yeah, that's the rubber in the front. Just check it through the door. Yeah, it's more noisier there in the front there than what it is in the back. So it's probably only that front rubber that's rubbing on them. And they're throwing them out because they don't they thought there was something wrong with them. Man, what a wasteful world it is. This washing machine not gonna compare with that one. Motor can't be swapped over. Yes, they're both direct drive, but uh, this one's totally different to that, and I can't adapt that to that, nor put, can I put this whole unit in that. I was going to try, but yeah, can't do it. Uh, she's a totally different setup. Not because they're a different brand or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrap her out. So much easier just to scrap it out. Ooh, that's got a good lock on that. Look at all the copper in that. Wow. Pays to pull them apart. That's just the magnets. That still goes though. Yeah. She's not gonna go once I'm finished. Because it's only a matter of undo all of these four these four bolts here. That stator comes out. Got a few cracks in it too, so she wouldn't last very long. So you probably can't see them on camera, but yeah, there's a few cracks in it. Ah 10 mil. Probably won't be able to find it. See if that one's it. Probably not. Yeah, I was right, 10 mil. There's the 10 mil. And that should just come straight off. Look at that. Then you undo the nut, shaft comes out, leave it as it is. Simple as. So this one's going to be a scrapped out unit, even though it was going, yes. But I want the copper. And we'll do the same with that one over there. That We had a motor error code of E50. Um, I probably won't get another machine for probably a month or so, so yeah. But I'm going to try, like I said earlier, to get a motor out of either one of these to put into that one because I know the circuit board in that's okay over there um, we'll see what happens just thought I'd bring you along on the journey and see what I do oh look at all of that never seen one like that before there's a lot in that damn hmm there we go. Oh, I've never seen one like that. That's just magic. Wow. I'm going to go with that. Go up there. Let's go with that. Oh, I don't think there's much else in there. We'll find out. Take the metal piece out of there, throw them up there. Ah, big screwdriver. It's so easy to pull apart these.
Okay, this other one. She's a sealed unit. Damn. Damn, damn. Can't get that one apart. Full complete unit, that. Can't get the main hub out of it. Definitely never seen one like that before. They don't twist apart nothing. They're more moulds together. Wow. Oh, there we go. Stupid me, eh? Alright, pull that out of there. That's the one way valve. Pretty players. No such luck. That shouldn't have water in there either. So I got the feeling the pump was fouling up on them. Anyway, I'll get to and finish this one off and get on to another one. Probably start on that one. Tell you what, this is one of my favourite tools ever. Don't need to bend over. Just put a socket on the end. Away we go. This is the washing machine that had an E50 motor code. E50 motor code. So she's just about disassembled. Nice, nice long tool. Love that. Just another one of my finds I picked up. Look at that. Grab all the screws. Put them in the scrap metal. All my bolts and that sort of thing up there, so I. I know that that's going to scrap metal. That's only got to be unscrewed, that top. That's that's good. Ah, what to do with that? Right there. You wouldn't be able to do this job without one of these. So simple to pull apart. If you can get everything out of it, you get better money. There we go. Plastic's even recyclable. So I'll put it all together. And that's the stainless steel drum. You can even make a fire pit out of that. Make a good fire pit. But anyway, that's another one done. I've just got to finish that gut off there, get all that apart. Got to work out how that comes apart. Oh yeah, there's a bolt there, bolt there. And that shaft should just drop out the bum. Then the plastic can all go into that. She's just a hollow shell. So what I'll do with this, take the plastic feet out of course. Put them up here for now. I don't throw things around too much. I threw the printer around. Got to get around to doing that dirty old thing, yuck. I'm dreading to go through that ink. It'll lath lathered with bloody Vaseline or some sort of white grease. 
um, I'll get to and paddle that the feet, feet off and the top corners um, so I can just collapse it down might be so much easier or well, the back does come off but I'm not going to worry about taking the back off I'll just collapse it down yep that's a good idea I'll get that out of there but in the meantime I've got to go and tend to the gate um, June give me a call and uh, said look I need you so I've got to go and attend to the gate so I'm going to have to leave this and come back to it later I sorted out what June wanted she needed change so I had to go to town and get that Anyway, got back to doing this, um, yeah, got all the corners off, and took me a couple of minutes, forgot to put it on the camera, so all I have to do now, lay it on the side, stand on the bloody thing, and it just crumples, grab it, fold it, you fit more in, this is why I bring it home and process it at home. Got a ski boat out there at the moment. Alright, put that on the trailer. Still got a fair bit of weight in it. Makes it for a tighter, a lot tighter lot. Still fit more. Leave that one till later. Anyway, I think we've got a working freezer here too. This one, I can feel the cold air fly out of it. It's nice and cold. So I've been talking to over with June and myself. Uh, that's got ice on it. We might keep this one, been on all day, even if it's only a drink fridge. It's got to its temperature, I can hear it sucking in. Yeah, she's leaking a bit of air there, so I'll put a bit of elastic around that. Because what I can do is undo these screws here, pull that, peel that a little bit this way to seal that up in there to make it more airtight. Um, yeah, I can't see wrong, anything wrong with it. I'm not going to be scrapping that fridge out. It's actually a freezer, really. Uh, this one here. Yeah, I turned it up. It has got colder. Oh, it has froze it. It mightn't be too bad, but it's running all the time. It's taking too long to freeze one item. So, might be right as a fridge, and even though it is a freezer, uh, she's not cold down there. She's not cold at all. So I think we'll be doing that one. Probably most certainly. And we'll get into doing these as well. Anyway, I'm going to make that do for this video. I've got to end it off here because um, I've got to get ready for tomorrow and go do some more dumpster diving for everyone. Um, can't keep doing this all day. Got to get ready for tomorrow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheerio, everyone.